Hey everyone, welcome to a new Lightroom editing tutorial. In this video, we are going to work with intentional overexposure, turning this raw file into this final image. If you want to follow along, you can find a link to download the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's jump into it. So here we are in Lightroom with the basic raw image. You can see it's pretty heavily overexposed right away. And at first I was planning on doing some exposure blending on this one using images like this or this to restore a bit more details in the highlights around the sun right there. But I think this overexposed area with that natural glow looks quite amazing. So I want to make use of that. I won't even try to pull down the highlights since I would lose that effect and this wouldn't restore anything in here at all. So what can we do here? First off, I do like to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape to just increase the base saturation a little more. Then I'm also adjusting the white balance, making everything just a slightly warmer since I think this will fit pretty good for this sunrise scene. I think I'm also going to bring down the tint slightly to reduce that purple color cast which is going on there. Okay. Colors do look pretty good for now. Let's work a bit on the exposure. For that I'm going to bring down the shadows, adding some more contrast here and there. But I will keep an eye on this area because I want to have some visible detail in here. So that is looking great. At the same time let's bring up the blacks just to give this image some softer look. So I think exposure wise this looks good for now. I do however want to add a bit of texture for some finer details, then I'm going to bring down the clarity and I'm also bringing down the dehaze, which will create a very soft hazy look. Almost makes it look like there's some kind of autumn glow going on without even touching Photoshop, so that's great. Then let's bring up the vibrance. Just adding some more colors to this image. Perfect. All right, at this point, I really like this center part. What I'm not happy with is the sky, since the upper part is looking way too bright. So let's apply a bit of masking. I'm starting this using a linear gradient and I'm trying to cover most of those darker clouds towards the top of the image. And with this linear gradient, I'm just dropping the exposure. I can drop it quite a bit. I don't think that looks too unnatural. And at this point, you can see there's still some brighter spot in the upper right corner. So again, let's make use of another linear gradient. Just covering this very corner here. And again, bring down the exposure. All right, maybe I'm going to adjust this linear gradient a bit, but I think this looks great. Then I do want to add one more linear gradient for the sky. Again, covering most of the top here. And again, just bring down the exposure. All right, nice. I think that's enough darkness added to the top part. Next up, let's also work a little bit on the foreground. Again, I'm just making use of a linear gradient and trying to target most of the ocean here and those few houses on the left side. Using this linear gradient, I do want to add some more texture for finer detail. And I also want to bring up the clarity just to make the foreground pop. Perfect. And then there is one more thing left I want to add and that's a radial gradient. Just enchanting that overexposed glow a little more and also trying to make it a little less harsh. What I mean by that is I'm going to bring up the blacks. And since I'm overlapping that dark mountain on the left side, we're going to create some very nice light bloom effect on here and thus just creates a nicer fade between the highlights and the shadows. So let's raise the blacks quite a bit. I'm also going to bring down the clarity and I'm also bringing down the dehaze for even more glow. Just like that. Now the dehaze slider might go a bit too crazy here with the, ex with the increased brightness. So I'm also going to bring down the highlights just a notch. Don't want to get overwhelmed by all those highlights in here. Just like that. Perfect. 
Now let's check out the before and after view. You can see the sky looks much, much better and the glow effect is really, really cool this way. Next up, there is a little bit of color grading involved. So let's get started by heading into the split toning stuff under the color grading panel. Of course, with the highlights, let's apply a warm color tone. So I'm going to adjust the hue and I'm going to raise the saturation and I want this image to be vibrant. So I'm raising it very, very heavily. Perfect. Let's head into the midtones. Again, I'm going with a warm color tone. I think for the midtones, you could also go with a cold color tone, but I do want this image to be on the very warm side. Again, I'm bringing up the saturation, but just a tiny bit. All right. And to get a little bit of color contrast going on, I'm going to head into the shadows. And here we are going to apply a cold hue and just use a low amount of saturation here. Perfect. Finally, I'm heading down into the calibration tab. Here, I'm going to bring down the blue primary hue, which will make all those highlights right there a little more red-ish. Wonderful. Looks great to me. Now there's one more thing we want to do and that's the sharpening in the details tab. So in here, as always, bring down the radius, increase the details, add a bit of masking. Just want the landscape to get sharpened like that and then increase the amount of sharpening. And here we have the finished image. So that was quick and easy. I hope this editing tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.